Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to introduce you with a brand new feature which was released just a day back and it is function calling feature. So let me quickly show you. So this is the OpenAI documentation and here you can see that few things were re released recently and it includes uh, API model, function calling, the longer context and the lower prices. So can, you can set your context kind of bit large this time rather than what you were doing uh, till now and you will get the reduced price for that. Apart from that, the most important feature is function calling which we are going to see today. And here you can see uh, it is talking about that these were the two uh, models 3.5 turbo and 4 which were released this year earlier and now they are going to like deprecate it. So the deprecation line is uh, deprecation timeline for these are defined over here. The important thing here is the function calling feature. So this feature allows uh, our chatbots or our LLM based application to call Python function functions and use them as a tool. So, but be aware that this function is only available in these versions. So, GPT-4, you have to go with the June release and similarly for 3.5 Turbo, it's a June release. So, you have to put 0.6.13 uh, along with your 3.5 Turbo or GPT-4. So, here it provides lot many capabilities that it is like clearly mentioning here that you can integrate it with your external tools like chat GPT or even if it's your own tool which you have written in Python. You can convert your API calls to the database queries, extract structured information from your text. So all these things you can do and here it they have given a nice example which we will also see in my demo. And before we go ahead, so you may have a question that what we have done in the previous video is it the same thing? So I would say in my most recent video, whatever I have created, that was using the lang chain. So using the lang chain, we were able to call Python functions. But in this video, we will try to achieve the similar kind of thing and that to using OpenAI. So we don't need lang chain to do that. We will simply go with the OpenAI. Okay. So let me jump on to VS Code here. And the scenario what uh, which I am taking here is, so I am going to ask uh, OpenAI that whatever fruit I am giving you just get me the color of the fruit. So if I am saying mango, I want to know the color of the mango. If I am giving apple, I want to know what is the color of the apple. So this is what we are going to do here. And I started by importing all these packages. So we need JSON because <coughs> the output of our function will be in the JSON format. We need OpenAI. Then this is the configuration from where I am reading my key. So this is how you need to set your model. So earlier you must be doing GPT-5 hyphen hyphen 3.5 hyphen turbo, but you have to append this extra thing if you want to utilize the latest capabilities. And once this is done, uh, the second thing comes is you need to create a function. What kind of things you want to do? What capabilities you want to introduce? So in my case, I just want to get the color of the fruit. So what I'm doing here is I'm just passing that as a parameter. So fruit is my parameter which is nothing but a string and then I am constructing a JSON format here. So this function will return me nothing but just a JSON format. It's like a key value pair you will get it. Let me quickly execute these things so we can understand much better. Okay, so I am going to execute this function and let me run this function with input as an apple. So you can see that whenever I am giving some fruit, it is just giving me JSON with a key value pair wherein key is nothing but my property name and this is the value which I am having. Okay, so next thing what I need to do is I need to uh, define the function. So how can you define the function? So this is my variable. You can take any variable and it should be a list. So this list would contain any number of functions. In my case, I am taking just one function, get fruit color and make a note that this is the same function which I have defined above. So you need to provide the name, you need to provide the description what this function is all about. So I am saying my description is get the color of the fruit and the parameters what uh, this function is having is just fruit. So I am defining fruit and its type is string. Again, I am providing some description which signifies that what this fruit is. So name of the fruit could be like apple, lychee or anything. So you can just provide few example here, examples here. 
and then you need to say what is the mandatory parameter so in this particular function uh, my mandatory parameter is fruit because if fruit is not there there is no point in querying this function so that's how you can define you can add more functions you can add uh, functions to do mathematical calculation you can do any number of things over here it's completely on your business needs okay so once the function is defined next thing is we need to define the prompt so this is my prompt here what's the color of the apple and as we are talking about the chat gpt kind of thing so and we are using turbo model so definitely we need to provide something called messages and here we will be defining the roles so in order to keep this case simple i am just taking user role but if you want your uh, scenario to be more extended then definitely you can append the system role as well the way i have defined it over here so i am going to execute this first then i will execute this as well so we have the prompt we have the messages next thing is to call the completion endpoint so for that we are saying take the model which i have defined above messages is nothing but these two lines which are holding my role and the content and then comes the function so these are the two additional things which you must be seeing today so the functions is nothing but the functions which we have created over here the list of all the functions and then we have the parameter function call so it could be none it could be auto in my case i am defining it as auto but will definitely show you what will happen if you will not giving auto so once you are done with this let me execute this and i will quickly show you how this response looks like okay so this is the response and here you can see that under the choices it is saying finish reason so why it was finished the reason is function call it has message it has content so right now chat gpt or the open has not responded with the answer so that's the reason it is null and we'll see in further call how this gets uh, populated and these are all the token related information and the usage related thing and here are the parameter arguments you can see fruit and its values apple and the function name is get fruit color now one thing i want to show here is uh, we have defined the function now we need to check whether a model really wants to call this function or not and that can be checked using this particular line of code here so i'm saying if my message so message is this part here you can see this is the message part and I am saying that inside this message if I am having function call then get uh, then only we will go ahead and execute this function. So if I will execute this you can see that I am getting the fruit color. So this is the one way to understand whether a model wants to call this function or not. So if you are not getting anything here it means this function will not get called and nothing has to be done. So be careful whenever you are assigning these property or oh, let me clean this up okay so careful when you are assigning these two values over here now let's say you are not assigning this thing to auto it means you want to explicitly call that function so in that case this thing is not going to work what you can do in that case is you need to go with the finish reason so if finish reason is having a value as function call it means you are good to go ahead and call this function so these are the two different ways how you can utilize this function call uh, parameter over here so once we are done with this we will go ahead and call the function so for calling the function you need to say your function name and this is how it is evaluated so here we are passing the parameter name and you can see that this is how the response is constructed now the same response we need to pass it to completion api so that we can get the proper response and here you can see the next call of our chat gpt uh, chat completion endpoint and I'm passing the model over here and role I'm saying user with the same prompt and this time I'm saying message which we just constructed let me show you so this is the message which we received from our previous call here so this message I'm passing and then I'm saying this time the role is function name is function name and the content is response so response is nothing but the fruit colon apple so this is what we are passing so whenever you are making a first call you will get to know that which function you are going to invoke for this particular prompt and that's what we are doing here so once this is done this will give you the final response let me quickly execute this here okay and here you go 
so the color of an apple can vary but the most common color is red so this is how you will get your response let me quickly change this a bit and give something else here let's say i am saying what is the color of the mango i am going to execute this here so that we will get the new message let's run this i'm not going to rerun this let's try this one and try this one oops we need not to because we have already run this so i will go with that only let's check it out now this time we are getting mango here so fruit equal to mango will be passed to our completion endpoint and this is what we get our response so the color of the mango can vary depending on the variety and stage of ripeness some common colors of mangoes include green yellow orange red and even purple i never seen this so these are the different ways you can make a call to a function i hope you will be able to utilize this function in a much better way based on your business need but the idea here is to showcase that how you can make a call and in if you will go to this here it is already talking about let me expand this so it is talking about how you should pass your parameters so here is an example of what is the weather like and the code which i have written is mostly from the open as documentation so there is nothing new which i am doing here the only thing is i try to fit my particular function so that we can understand in much more easy way so that's all i have for today and i hope you enjoyed learning this new feature thanks for watching